Have you ever wondered what it's like to visit Costa Rica as a digital nomad? So this week I have spent one week in San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica, working here as a digital nomad. And I'm gonna show you everything that I got up to. We stayed in a lovely Airbnb, explored some markets and foodie spots with cocktails. I also caught up with some friends, all because I wanted to have a little base and climatize for a week before the start of my first female flying solo trip. So if you've ever wondered what it's like to be a digital nomad in Costa Rica and whether San Jose is worth visiting make sure to watch this video because I'm gonna share my insight with you good morning everyone from San Jose in Costa Rica baby I have been here like three days now um, joined by my two friends Faith and Tilly but honestly I haven't really vlogged or I haven't really done much because I felt so disorientated like jet lag has really really got to me I don't normally get jet lag when flying from east to west but this time yeah it just really really got to me so I'm gonna do a little vlog of what it's like to spend a week in San Jose I have recorded some little bits and bobs over the weekend last night we went to a really cute market <laughs> Hi! Let's see your food. What did you order? I ordered some calamari and a white sangria. How's your ice cream? Delicious. Is literally just next to this airbnb i'm also going to do a completely separate vlog just reviewing this airbnb because it is so cool like if you are coming to san jose and you're a digital nomad or you just want a good stop before you go to other places or on your way back then i would highly recommend this because it's amazing um this particular airbnb is so nice and the facilities here are so stunning there's a pool there's a gym Irony of a KFC being right as you walk out of the gym. Um, and everything like that. But I'm going to do another video on this. So make sure to subscribe so you can watch that. Um, and to be honest, I feel like we're just going to have a very chilled week. Um, we, ha I haven't really left the Airbnb at all just because I've wanted to like settle myself into this time zone. I think if I'd have just come, if I would have just come like a few days before the trip starts uh, for females flying solo i don't think i would have been able to do it i think i would have been absolutely exhausted and knackered it's genuinely taken me up until today i feel like normal um so it's saturday sunday literally two full days to just acclimatize and three nights so yeah but it is absolutely lovely um loving it so far um, I've got so much work to do this week because I feel like the tour starts on Thursday and I really just need to prepare and do as much work as I possibly can. So I've just parked on myself over here on my little desk with a bit of a mess um, to just work for the full day today and then probably have a chilled evening tonight. My friend Tilly has gone to Hako. Faith is still here with me. So maybe we're gonna go for some dinner. I need to actually go and get everyone little gifts for the the trip. And I wanted to get everyone like pink journals because I love journaling. I'm such a big advocate and it's such an incredible personal development tool. Um, and I just thought it would make such a nice gift for everyone because they can like document the journey and journal, um, everything like that. So I need to go and do that later today when I finish work. I finish, I'm gonna finish at four and then go um, to this like big office depot shop for that. And yeah, other than that, it's gonna be a pretty chill day for me. I'm excited to bring you all along with me throughout this week and through the whole female spine solo trip. Um, I think it's gonna be really fun.
drinking in an empty restaurant. It's probably just us here. It's nice. It's cold. It's cold. Early the next morning. So on one of the days in San Jose, we actually booked an activity, which was a walking tour, a cocktail class, and a four-course dinner combined. We booked this through Get Your Guide, and we started off with a little walking tour. We went around the Central Market, which was really good. And I will say this is a really good way to actually see San Jose safely, especially the downtown area, because it can be a little bit dodgy with some interesting characters. So if you're visiting on your own, or solo or with the girls then I would highly recommend doing this activity um, you get to learn a little bit about San Jose as well which is really really nice and then after we did that it was time for a cocktail class so we made two cocktails the first one was kind of the classic cocktail uh, of Costa Rica which is the chili guaro kind of similar to a Bloody Mary now I don't really like Bloody Marys but I actually really really like these um, it was really really good and then the other one was like this chocolatey one I can't remember the name for this in Spanish but I remember someone telling me that in English it translates to a mini blowjob um, so that was really funny um, but overall, really good experience. And then afterwards, we did a little bit more walking. We walked through the park. And then in the whole group sat down, we had a four course dinner. And I will say this was probably one of our favorite meals in all of San Jose. Like the food was just so fresh, so tasty. And this whole experience, I think cost around 46 pound uh, with Get Your Guide. I'm gonna link it below. I had such an incredible time. And I highly recommend this because there's not actually that many things that you can do in San Jose. So the next day was actually Valentine's Day. I had a little bit of free time and I actually got picked up by some of the True Travels team that were here based in Costa Rica. And we did a little activity to the Irazu volcano. Obviously the weather was not on our side as you can see and we were very unlucky. We didn't get to see the crater at all, uh, but we did get to see a really good view of the lagoon, which was nearby as well. But again, this is a really nice activity that you can do if you are visiting in San Jose. And it was really nice to just catch up and spend some of the time with the True Travels team before the start of the trip the next day and then on the way home we also stopped for some lunch and had this kind of like blueberry smoothie milkshake thing which was actually really nice but I can't remember the name, name of it. I am in the Airbnb about to go to the dinner with the girls so it's Valentine's Day and this is the eve before the tour me and Faith have got some really cute music playing in the Airbnb and I'm so excited to meet everyone. This is my cute Valentine's Day fit. So yeah, super excited to meet everyone. About half of the girls arrived today, a day earlier. So because it's Valentine's Day, we're gonna go to a really nice food market, get some food, drinks. Apparently this place does really good cocktails. And then the tour starts through, which is so exciting. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna take you all along with me for the next week. Sangrita, this is what we've ordered. Woo -woo. This is the most, the biggest drink I've ever had in my life. Like. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope that it has been useful on letting you know what it's like to be a digital nomad in Costa Rica. Make sure to subscribe because the next vlog, I am going to be taking you along with me on the Costa Rica females flying solo trip.